Hi everyone, this will be a very quick video. So at any point in time, if you want to decommission any servers in the Citrix environment, you have to you know, uninstall the applications, uninstall everything. Once you power off the machine, what you need to do is you need to get rid of the entry from the Citrix Studio console as well. Okay, so right now I'm trying to decommission this particular machine. Okay, it's a VDR machine 01. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and I need to delete the entry. Okay, so I'm going to click on delete. So once I click on delete, it says unable to delete desktops because one machine is not in maintenance mode. So at any at any point in time, if you want to remove the entry, you need to keep that machine under maintenance mode. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this machine under maintenance. Right click on this machine, click on turn on maintenance mode. It says, are you sure you want to put the selected machine into maintenance mode? Click yes. So once the machine is under maintenance mode, you can make any changes. Now I'm, I'm going to delete this entry. Okay, I'm going to click delete. Okay, it says, what do you want to do with the virtual machine? Remove the virtual machine from catalog, but, but do not delete the virtual machines. And the second option is remove the virtual machines from catalog and delete the virtual machine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the second option which is remove the virtual machines from the catalog and delete the virtual machines okay now what do you want to do with the active directory computer accounts leave the accounts in the catalog and do not change them in active directory so if they leave if you leave the accounts in the catalog so you're going to have the host name you're going to have the host name whatever it is vdi01 vdi02 whatever it is it is going to have that in active directory so the second option is remove the accounts from catalog but do not remove them from active directory so you can remove the accounts accounts from catalog but it still stays in the active directory so you can select any of the options so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to remove them from active directory as well okay so what I'm going to do is uh, the third option is remove the accounts from catalog and disable them in Active Directory. I think this is the right option for me. And the fourth one is uh, remove the accounts from the catalog and delete delete them from Active Directory. So whatever is uh, suitable for you, you can select this. So what I'm going to do is since this is a lab environment, I'm going to remove the accounts from catalog and delete them from Active Directory because I'm decommissioning this machine. So I'm going to remove the accounts from catalog and also from Active Directory. So just click next. Okay, it says remove the virtual machine from the catalog, delete the virtual machine and delete the computer account as well. I'm going to click finish. So it is removing the machines. So whenever you decommission the servers, this is the process that you can follow to remove the entries from the Citrix Studio console as well. So this is going to take a couple of minutes. So the Citrix environments, like if you have, uh, you know, if you work in some projects and it is, you know, uh, it's only for like a couple of months or something. Once the activity is done, once you can remove those servers. So in this case, uh, what I've done is I have, uh, you know, just removed one, removed one server. I decommissioned it and I have also removed that particular entry from the Citrix Studio. Now I have only one video machine. So if I go to Citrix Zen Center, I see only one video machine and which is in turn down state. Okay. I got rid of video machine 01. So I see only video machine 02 and it is, it is in registered state. Okay. I hope you find this information helpful. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.